Before we teleport out of here, just like a pit bull, species spotlight, Jeezy, tarot plants right there, Ricky, Big Ben, I'm a regurgitator, I love this little cave here, treasure chest, Mama Fish Keeper, Aloha, my ohana, it is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. And before we teleport out of here, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, perfect opportunity to right now, hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on, it's a notification bell. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. Best part about it is it's absolutely free. Now we can teleport out of here. We got an adventure ahead of us. I can't wait. I'm super excited for this one. So in three, two, one, we're gonna go ahead and teleport. Hawaiian punch out, see you in a second. Whoo, just like that. We are here in West Sacramento at Koi Enterprise. Now we're not gonna spend too much time here, but we are picking up something. We're gonna take it home. We're gonna kind of do a species spotlight on a certain fish that I'm excited to show you guys. But not only that though, I do have a special guest with me too. Come here, young lady. Yeah, your boy has got, oh, this is Mama Fish Keeper, yeah. my Makuahini's mother in Hawaiian. This is my mom. If you guys are wondering who the creator is, here she is. So she uh, is coming along with me. I'm gonna show her around Koi Enterprise. It's her first time here, like I said. This is like the Disneyland of koi fish lovers, yeah? <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna show her some beautiful koi fish and I'm gonna take you guys with me and then we're gonna head home and we'll show off what we got. Okay, mom, I gotta show you this beautiful show pond here at Koi Enterprise. Look how beautiful. We're gonna step onto this main rock here and I'm gonna show you, look how beautiful oh, wow. these koi are. Just beautiful. I know, aren't they? Look at them all. Look how big they are. I know, as you can see, this pond here is beautiful. Look at all the rocks he put in here. Mm -hmm. Look at the landscape, beautiful. look at that. You got the taro plants right there. Yes. See how he kind of has it to where it's like rock, small rock, plant, yes. plant, small rock. It kind of breaks up the pond on the scape. Bamboo stuff that oh yeah, yeah, the bamboo there. down right over That's there. Pretty. That bamboo is really cool. Small, yeah, this is uh, cool. this is the show pond though. Absolutely wow, love this. Beautiful. You can see big aerator there in the middle. Another big aerator there, yes. and then all of this foliage here, this green just kind of hangs over the lip mm -hmm. so you can see it kind of cantilevers which is really cool yeah but the koi fish ooh, man yeah, yeah these are big big monster koi though Huge. I know tanchos kohakus you name it I can sit here and just I don't know zone out and relax looking at all these beautiful koi that's swim around so I know they look like a whale right mm -hmm. like, that's a ochiba Okay. That's the one I'm talking about right there. Look at this monster. If it swims out, ooh, you're gonna see how big it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking pushing three feet, easy. Mm -hmm. And thick, too, with three C's. Yeah. He's got a lot of tanchos in here. Tancho is the one with the circles on the head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can see, look how big that thing is. It's fat. Huge. It's a fatty. That Ochiba right there is a fatty. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, they're super healthy. Yeah. So, all right, let's take a walk. I'm going to show you around. I love this little cave here. This is actually on the back side of the show pond. A lot of people don't know or realize that there's a little cave, but it's pretty cool. You can go in there and sit down. Bird of paradise, man. The scape here, look at it. It looks like a jungle. That's where we were standing, right there on that destination boulder. Now, over here to the right is that cave I was just showing you. And this area here is the entire filtration for that display pond. This thing is huge though. So these doors or panels come up and you can go down inside. I guess we'll call it the filtration room. Crazy though. Here's some koi fish mom right here, 150 bucks. Beautiful koi fish as we walk down the line here. We're gonna go into this next bin here. These are 350. Yes. Burn your fingers. Ooh, look at Asagis right here. Look at these beautiful Asagis. Oh man, the color on those Asagis right there. One of two fish that hold the color blue. It looks like it's gray, but it's considered blue, just like a pit bull. You know, they call the blue pit bulls, but you look at them and they're, and they're like a, a nice, beautiful gray. Same thing with koi fish. And then we'll walk over to this bin here. Another $350 bin. You definitely can tell when the price changes and you look at the koi, you got some golden corns in here. Tanaguchi. Those are the golden ones with the little speckles on top. 
Look at that beautiful golden corns. There's only one breeder in the world that carry the golden corn and that's Tanaguchi. I've talked about Tanaguchi. I have a golden corn in my pond. Um, and another cool thing about Tanaguchi and the golden corn is it changes. You can get three different types, maybe even four different types of koi when you buy a golden corn. It changes, then you're just like, whoa, this fish used to be yellow. Next thing you know, it's white and it's got some speckles in it. It's a new koi fish. Um, I think it came out about eight years ago. So it's kind of like one of the newest breeds. That is the Tanaguchi Golden Corn. Mom, so this part right here, this is the live koi cell office. This is the room where the magic happens and they do the koi live sale every Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, also, come over here, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna show you this little pond. This is Anthony Jr.'s pond right here, this little mini pond right here, yeah. He actually made this pond with his dad and he's got his koi fish in here. Beautiful ki utsuri down there, that is black and yellow. Yeah, he's a beast, that's a big boy too. Big key. Yeah, that's a nice one, that's a doitsu, no scales, scaleless. Not sure exactly what kind, but it's a white. It looks probably kind of yellow because of the tint of the water, but no, this is a, whew, it's a monster, but cool little waterfall. I absolutely love this little pond. It's so cool. That right there is a floating island. You can't tell because of the growth, but it's floating but it's pretty neat. Now let's walk over there. There's some more koi fish. So we're gonna take the little tour here. He's got a whole big bin full of water lilies and water hyacinths. So come on down. Look at, ooh, this one's gonna bloom. Look at, you see the bloom? Oh man, I need to pick one up that's blooming. Mine's not blooming yet, but nice healthy pond lilies though. Yeah, the water hyacinth, these nice floating plants. I wanna get one for the pond bowl for my Madaka, they would love this. And it also filtrates, uh, filters the water too, so it serves two purposes, shade, it um, filters the water, and gives them protection. Yeah, awesome. Ooh, these are some big boys here, let me tell you. These are probably two to three years old, but I wanna show you this beautiful lemon hariake. Look how pretty. That is a doitsu, so it's considered scaleless. It's got clean lines. Oh, such a beautiful koi fish though, look at that. Lemon Hiriaki, I'll put the name of it on the screen for you, but absolutely love this one. Ooh, and you know, your boy's got one of these at home. Not as nice as this one though. All right, so check this out, mom. This is one of my favorite areas here at Koi Enterprise. Uh, this is where you can make your pond look beautiful. A lot of the pond plants, uh, if you guys are wondering what types of plants to plant around your pond, beautiful horsetails. You can see how they're just submerged in water there. Ah, uh, look at, love the horsetails, but then look at all these aquatic plants. Look how pretty. Soften the edges of your pond. Look at that, I think that's Creeping Jenny right there. You got some canna. Red canna, looks like red canna. Look how pretty these cannas are. Beautiful orange, man. Ooh, make your pond look real tropical. Walk down over here, look at these, look how pretty. Look at these pretty flowers. Yep, you know you're, yeah, little pineapples on that, huh? Look at that, little pineapples. You know you're getting old when you get excited over plants. <laughs> Telling you guys, man, your boy's going through some changes, man. Look how beautiful, they have a nice selection. They must've got a really, Big shipment of plants. Look at, you got more pond lilies here, more water hyacinth in here. I think I'm gonna pick up some water hyacinth for the pond bowls. I need at least maybe two or three. Look how pretty though. If you guys are wondering how to decorate your beautiful pond, here it is right here. All right, so like I said, today is Saturday and Saturday is a real important day at Koi Enterprise because if you purchase your Koi on the live sale on Thursday, Today's the day that you do the pickup. So I'm gonna show you where he has the koi fish in. It's so awesome. Wait till you see. This right here is the Koi Enterprise treasure chest. This is what I call it. It's custom made. Look at this thing here. My boy Victor made this for my boy Anthony. Yeah, you're, that's right, I got a lot of boys. But if you ever purchase your koi fish on Thursday, you come here on Saturday to pick it up. <gasps> That's where they'll be, and your boy's got his fish in there. You guys can't see. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and teleport in three, two, one. Hawaiian punch out, we'll see you guys back at home. Woo, just like that, we are back home. We're not wasting any time. And without further ado, let me show you this beautiful Hi Showa butterfly koi fish that I picked up 
from Anthony over at Koi Enterprise. Check them out. Oh, am my Jeezy Ohana. Look at this beautiful He Showa Butterfly Koi. Now, the butterfly, absolutely love. That is the long fin koi fish. Look at those pectoral fins. Look at them. Look how long. Look how even. They have a little bit of the white, too, at the end. It's perfectly, I mean, to me, it looks symmetrical. Long, flowy fins. Oh, my gosh. This one's going to be a beautiful koi fish. Now, some of you guys are looking at this koi fish, and you're thinking, well, wait a minute. That looks like a he utsuri. He utsuri is black and red. The difference between the he Utsuri and the He Showa is you can see right there on the side. It's got some white in it That's what makes it a He Showa Showa koi fish are black with red and white now if I show you the belly of this beautiful koi fish look at you can see right there Look how white he is see that makes him a He Showa Now I'm gonna grab this beautiful koi fish and we're gonna put him right in this net here with my He Utsuri that is a he utsuri, which the entire fish is black and red. No white in it. That's what makes it the he utsuri. So a lot of people get confused. And I think that's why I like it is because it's different. It's a showa, but it's called a he showa. And you can see them right next to each other. This right here is a long fin butterfly he showa. And you can see the white. And then we have the he utsuri, which is strictly black and red. Look at pectoral fins black anal fins black I really love the face and the head you can see half of the face is red and the other half is black which is so cool man beautiful beautiful fish love these guys I, I also love doing you know species spotlights on koi fish uh, let me know down low in the comments if you guys want me to do another spotlight on some koi fish I'm thinking about doing a comparison with the Sanke koi and the Showa koi which are really like confusing because they are similar in colors but there is a significant difference if you put them next to each other and that's what i love doing is educate you a little bit in koi fish um, i'm no expert i merely learn from my boy anthony over at koi enterprise i talk about it all the time i'm a regurgitator they call us regurgitators i regurgitate information from him and you know i teach you so it's kind of a buddy system that we got going on but look how beautiful so let's go ahead and release these back into the pond. He got to meet his uh, first, I guess his, his brother for the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and there he goes. He Utsuri, he Showa, introducing him to the school of brothers and sisters in the above ground pond. He's doing great. Everybody's doing great. <laughs> Man, I love this pond. Well, we just added a he showa to the beautiful collection of koi fish that I have here. Now, if you're new to the channel, you may be looking at the above ground pond and you might be saying to yourself, that pond is way too small for all of those koi fish. And you know what? You're absolutely right. That's why I'm in the process of building a humongous koi pond for all of my beautiful Japanese koi fish. That's the sneak peek that you guys get. If you waited to the end of this video, you got just a snippet of Tiki Falls 4.0. There have been some updates. Stay tuned, I will do a complete video on this, I promise you. I know I keep like teasing you, but I promise you, the next video, mm, I don't know, maybe the next video will be about Tiki Falls 4.0. Stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I inspired you guys to purchase a He Showa and add it to your collection. This one here, Butterfly, huge fan of the Butterfly Koi Fish from Suda Koi Farm in Japan. Very prestigious koi farm. Suda actually invented the butterfly koi fish, so I'm actually getting it from the originator. Oh man, I just, I've been waiting so patiently for a He Showa, and it being a butterfly koi is just an added bonus, so big shout out to Anthony. Check him out, all right? That is Koi Enterprise. All of their links will be down in the description below. Download the app, it's absolutely free. Every Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, your boy will be in the live chat. That is when these beautiful koi fish go on sale starting at $50. All of them are imported from Japan, an absolute steal. Go check it out, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything unless you wanna spend some money like your boy does on koi fish. Other than that, take care Ohana, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love and aloha.